Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Uh, I made it to Blue Canyon Airport in Nyack, California. It's at about uh, 1,610 meter uh, elevation. This is the dark site that Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society is permitted to use by the uh, U.S. Forest Service. And um, I had a good idea that, or a pretty good idea that if I came out here uh, on a full moon night, I'd probably be by myself. But uh, with this camera here, I'm just gonna maybe give you a little bit of a panoramic view. Um, out here is the runway and it points to 330. And uh, pretty, pretty good horizon. And uh, behind me is one of their uh, observatories, the club's observatories. And then here is another observatory. And I um, also want to show you tonight that I'm powering everything off of one Jackery, my Jackery Explorer 1000. I have the B-Link U59 mini computer. I have... Um, the mount, the cameras, uh, basically I have a Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance, so I'm feeding power to that and it is distributing the power to my uh, uh, electronic focuser, my camera, my filter wheel, uh, my guide scope, and um, I'm starting the uh, evening. Uh, I just turned on the power and I'm at 98% and so maybe I let it run for 10 hours and then I can see how much I consume. Over there is my TP-Link router which will enable me to uh, create a private network. Now I do have internet connectivity via my phone. Uh, I use AT&T. And so I've got pretty good connectivity here, uh, which, it, which is nice. But uh, as you can see, we're pretty deserted here. Uh, but I tell you, uh, the sky looks nice and clear tonight. And again, uh, what I'm going to try to accomplish tonight is to run uh, Darks Customs to reestablish the offsets for my luminous R, G, B, H, A, S2, and O3 filters. Um, the wind has died down, which is nice. Um, we got a lot of uh, tarmac here in a sense with the runway, so there might be some heat plumes that come off during the night that could affect seeing. I have no idea what seeing uh, is going to be like tonight. The forecast said um, it was going to be uh, good, I believe. So, uh, and I'm really not sure yet what I'm going to show you tonight as far as any uh, um, video of, uh, of Nina as Nina's doing the operations and those type of things. So, but I did make it up here. I'm glad I went through the effort to come up. Uh, I do have my bear spray. Uh, again, I lived up here uh, off and on over in the Truckee area and there are bears and they do freak me out a little bit. Okay, well I made it through the night. It's the next morning. I'm uh, having some coffee, a little bit of breakfast. It was a mixed bag last night. Uh, there were some positive things, some negative things, or maybe not negative, but just some things I don't understand around the guiding. Uh, Clearly, uh, I've drawn some conclusion about imaging when there's a full moon. Uh, but those type of things I'll cover with uh, other videos. And uh, I do plan to stay uh, tonight to do some more uh, work. The, uh, the key thing for this video, since uh, I showed you the uh, Jackery that I'm using, uh, I only used um, about 30% of the available 1,002 watt hours of uh, storage. When I started the night, it was at 98%. Uh, I turned everything on around 
And when I turned everything off around 4.30 in the morning, uh, I still had 68% left on that uh, Jackery Explorer 1000. So, um, so that's a big plus. I can uh, image through the night easily. And uh, even if I want to observe, uh, don't bring it down uh, more than 80% from full, uh, I clearly have two nights. But let me show you what, let's take a step outside and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's uh, very important to be able to recharge your uh, power stations, of course. So I have two portable 120 watt power stations and uh, back here in the shade, I have my uh, Jackery and I have them both connected And the two panels together are putting in uh, 123 watts. So I'm expecting in about three, four hours, given the sunlight, uh, I should be back up around 98%. Um, so let's uh, go back inside and finish this off. So just to kind of wrap this uh, video up uh, with its focus around being able to image through the night using uh, battery power only. I'm glad I came. Uh, it was important for me to understand how much power I was going to consume. I'm glad I came because I wanted to get a feel for this dark site since I will be using it from time to time. And um, I think it's a, it's a great site. Of course, when the full moon's out, it's about a Bortle 7.8. But I purposely came here on a full moon because I wanted to run the exposure calculator and see what kind of times I would get uh, versus when I come back and it's uh, uh, a new moon weekend, maybe I could do some comparison there. So, all right, I'm here. I'm gonna stay another night. Uh, I'm gonna look at some of the um, files that I collected last night and um, probably uh, make another video about some of the things I encountered last night that I may not understand and maybe you've run into it before and you can help me out with that. Um, other than that, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, clear skies. Till next time. Game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain.